Hello and welcome to today's video in which I will be showing you how easy it is to set up two-factor authentication with a physical Yubico key. But first, a very brief introduction into the world of 2FA and why it is so important. With large-scale data breaches becoming more and more common these days, it's a good idea to add an extra layer of security on top of your hopefully already secure password. Now is a good time to reflect on your passwords. Do you use the same password on all of your accounts? Does your password meet length and complexity requirements? As you can see in this graph, the shorter your password is, the easier and faster it is for a computer to crack it. And with computers becoming more powerful these days, it will only decrease the cracking time. Do you already use a password manager? If not, I would highly recommend looking into one. You can even self-host this service using Bitwarden. If you want to know if your password or email address has been compromised in the past during a data breach, I highly recommend checking out the ethical project Have I Been Pwned? Here you can check if your passwords or email addresses are out in the open and on which site it was compromised. If you liked this video so far, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. It means a lot to me. But now let's go back to the main topic. You might already use some sort of 2FA in the form of an app on your smartphone like the Google or Microsoft Authenticator. While these are great solutions already, it's not as secure as a physical key. And those generated codes can be fished in the same way as people are trying to steal your credit card or bank information. You can think of a hardware token in the same way as a key to your home. Only if you have the physical key to your door, you can enter. And the same logic applies to your account. Yubico makes many different keys. They range from the standard USB form to USB-C and even Lightning for your iPhone. They also have models that are small and can be left plugged into your device, as well as some that look actually like a key and can be attached to your keychain. Some offer NFC that can be used on your phone as well, and recently they even released a model with a biometric fingerprint reader for additional security. So how easy is it to add a key to let's say GitHub? Well, actually it only takes a minute. To do this, log in to your account and head over to your settings. Click on account security. Here you can see your existing two-factor authentication methods like the Authenticator app or SMS code. We are interested in the security key option. Click on edit and scroll to the bottom. Here, you can delete existing keys, for example if you lost a key. But let's create a new key. Give it a clear name so you know which key is which. Next, you will get a pop-up. Here, you need to select that we want to add a USB key, and it will ask you to insert the key and touch it. After you've done that, your physical key is added to your account. To test it, simply log out of your account and sign in. You will see that after you entered your password, you are created with a screen to authenticate with your physical key. A small word of caution, it's a good idea to add a second key if you have one. This will ensure you will always have access to your account if you happen to lose a physical key. It's also a good idea to add a fallback method like the Authenticator app or an SMS code. There are many applications, operating systems and programs that support one or more of the supported protocols that the YubiKey has to offer. So next time when you log into an application, take a minute, go to the security settings and check if you can add your physical key. If you're using an insecure password, that's also a great time to update it and store it in your password manager. And with that, I would like to thank you for watching and I will see you all next time. Bye.